Hi everyone, it's Chris. A week or two ago, I shared a card with these ornaments and got several requests for a video. So today I thought I'd show you how I added dimension to these solid stamps. I am using a set from Gina K Designs. This is actually the incentive set that came in my last order. It's called Deck the Halls. And it is just a solid ornament stamp. And I would like to show you how I added dimension. I started out by using the ornament stamp on a block and I'm just stamping the edge of this ornament three times onto this masking paper. This is actually Masking Magic. Um, it is the Gina K Designs and Thermal Web collaboration and it is a really nice masking paper. It's uh, easy to stamp on, the ink doesn't smear off onto your fingers and what I've done is just inked up the very edge of that ornament three times on a small piece of this masking paper and then I'm going to cut out just a little sliver of that edge of the ornament that I'm going to be using as the highlight of my solid ornament. Now what I've done, I didn't cut all the way through this sliver because the backing of this paper is a little difficult to get off so I wanted to make sure that I could um, trim it out after I've taken the backing off uh, with my nails it's really hard for me to get the backing off tiny little pieces so this way I could just grab that um, center like kind of that break in the waxy paper and pull this off and then just trim those little slivers out. Now I have three of them because I'm going to make three ornaments across the front of my card. So right now they're just stuck on the outside lid of my Misty and I will be putting them onto my stamp itself. So I'm using my original Misty and I've lined the stamp up kind of in the center. I'm using my bar magnet to hold my card's panel down. Um, the paper that I'm using is Gina K's Artist's Choice cardstock, which is a huge favorite for me because it works with pencil or marker, Copic marker, and holds ink really, really well. So I'm going to add that little sliver to the stamp. You can see that I put it on before I inked my stamp and then I peeled off that little sliver leaving that white space. Now I'm going to do it again um, with a second little sliver here. They're all stamped in blue but now I've cleaned my stamp, added this little sliver and I'm going to be stamping with Peach Bellini. Now make sure that you take that sliver off to leave that white space. I just slid my cardstock panel along the edge of my Misty and they're all going to be stamped exactly in line. And here I'll do the third one, kind of line them up. You could measure and be really precise, but I'm not very pre precise. I just kind of eyeball this. And there is Key Lime. So I've used Sea Glass, Peach Bellini, and Key Lime ink. And each time I put that little sliver directly onto the stamp, inked it up, peeled the little sliver off, and then stamped onto my cardstock. And now the fun part, I'm going to be bringing in more ink to create that dimension. And I'm using this little teeny makeup brush. This is something that I found at Walmart. It is made by e.l.f. Cosmetics. Um, very inexpensive. I think I paid a dollar for it. And it's called a concealer brush. And it's really short bristles. They're kind of stiff, but they work really great for coloring these small spaces on these stamps. So I'm bringing more of the key line ink. And I'm just picking up the ink with the brush, bringing it over to the edge of the ornament on that left side, and pulling that color towards the center, creating that shape. Um, and now I want to darken this by adding kind of a shadowy color. I'm going to use fresh asparagus because it's a much grayer color of this green and that's going to give me that really nice contrast that I want. I'm doing the lower portion of this ornament and also the top left and just kind of working that color along the edge and pulling it towards the center. And that's going to create that nice, like, bulbous shape of this ornament. I'm going to add a little bit of color to the top of the ornament and right underneath a shadow of where the, the little ornament hook, the little hanger piece, is going to get stamped on later. And there is my green ornament. Now, the phone rang and I video with my phone so I missed the blue one but the blue one um, over the sea glass I used moonlit fog for my ink 
and now I'm working on the peach bellini one and so for my accent shadowy color I'm just using craft ink because it's a really nice grayish color and it complements the peach bellini really well so again just pulling that color from the edge the top portion of the left and also underneath the lower portion of that ornament to bring in that color and I'm just kind of sliding the ink along the very edge of my stamp and then bringing that color towards the center. Now I'm going to just use a block and I'm going to stamp the little ornament hanger portions. I'm using slate ink and this is easy enough to do with the block. I do line it up using a gridded block so I have a pretty good idea that I'm getting it nice and straight. I'm also going to do the strings with a block and I put this put the stamp down onto my my craft mat this is my cutting mat and use the line to line up that string and then just put the block on top of it to pick it up and also using slate ink for these two now I'm going to stamp my sentiment in slate ink I'm just kind of nestled that sentiment stamp right in between two of the ornaments on the bottom kind of out of screen here but I'm stamping it twice with slate ink and then I've cleaned my stamp and then I'm going to heat emboss with clear. That's going to give it a little bit of dimension and a little bit of extra shine. I'm using my powder tool to prep my paper and then using some embossing ink and the clear embossing powder to heat that up, give it that little shine and some extra dimension and contrast there. Now the fun part. Um, you want to do your embossing before you add the white pigment ink because the powder will stick to the white pigment because it does take a little bit of time to dry. So I'm using another e.l.f. brush and I'm just bringing some white ink. I'm kind of softening that sharp edge where that little sliver of masking paper was and kind of pulling a little bit of the white ink across the center of the ornament just to give it extra highlight. I'm also using a white gel pen to just add two little lines right at the top of that ornament hanger to kind of give it that metallic feel. Now I'm going to use the foam, foam tape. This is Gina's new um, ThermoWeb collab foam tape, which is really nice. I'm putting quite a few strips on here because I don't want my card to bend or to get kind of soggy in the middle. So be generous. If you're spending all that time making a card, you might as well make it stand up and really hold together. This is a very sticky tape so you want to um, make sure that you've lined up your card panel onto your card base really well before you pre press it down because it's going to be very difficult to move it around. So there is my very simple card. Thanks for watching.